Let's create a dialogue system together. We should be able to change its sentences and also be able to change any desired part's color in easiest way. To display messages, we need a canvas. So right click and create a canvas in UI section. Now in its subsets, create an image which is going to be our dialogue background image. Change its size and image. Change the image name to dialogue system. Now right click on image, create a text mesh pro from UI. We are going to display the dialogue text here. Easiest way to manage created text is to go to the scene, double click on text and change scene mode from 2D to 3D. Now adjust its font and text size and its position. And at last give it a purple font. Now we need a button to display next dialog. Again right click on dialog system, create an image and put it in right side of box. Change its image and size. This is the final result. The appearance of the box is going to be like this. And you can design it as you want it. Now let's change and display the dialogues and also manage them in code. Create an empty game object called Dialog Manager and also a script with the same name. We are going to manage all dialogues with this code and object. Now give a script to object. Above a script, define a text mesh pro called text. This text is a created dialog text. Remove update void, we don't need it. Then define a new void called show message. In parentheses of void, define a string called message. And in void write, define a text means text. Dot text component equal message string. Now define a game object called dialog system, which is going to be our whole UI dialog system, and enable it in show message void. Now to displaying messages, we just need to call show message void. For example, in a start void and in parentheses, write desired message. Press Ctrl S and open Unity. Deactivate whole dialog system page. Now select dialog manager. Give text to text and give whole dialog system page to dialog system. Now, if you press play, as a start void runs, dialog system enables and the message displays. Next, we want to display some messages together. And when this skip button was clicked, the message changed. How we can display a couple of messages by pressing show message once? Easiest way is to separate each message with a certain symbol. For example, with a comma. We want to display three messages one after another. Hi, how are you? Goodbye and good luck. First, define a string array called words and an integer called number. Make number zero in void. Now the most important job is to correct the message with defined symbol. How? With a split command. So write words means defined string array equals message a string. That is split in parentheses between two single quotations. The symbol that with it, we want to separate each sentence with another, which is comma in our scenario. With this, anything we send to show message void will correct with comma symbol. And it will put in words array like this. Now remove these sections means displaying messages and define a new void called the skip. And again call a skip from up here. Now write if number was less than length of words array text.text .text equals to one of the words array elements. Which element? Element number of words. And below it increase number by one. And in else, equal number to zero and disable whole dialog system page. Let's go to Unity. Select the skip button, add button component for it, and by pressing this plus, give dialog system to it. And at last, select escape void. Now, if we press play, our message splits and each part displays to us separately. And by pressing skip button, the next message displays. And when messages are finished, the Alex system page deactivates automatically. Next thing to do is to change each part color as we want. For example, I want when a word was written in parentheses, it automatically displays in red color. To change color, use this void. It detects opening and closing parentheses, and with this section of a script, change the color of that section. 
we only need to write the final text instead of this big text. And at last, in escape void, call change color void. And this is the final result. The messages displayed and the color of each part that is written in parentheses will change and we can skip the messages. Now in desired section, like hitting on the button or getting close to character, we just need to call show message with desired message. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.